Yuma County celebrated a significant milestone with the Downtown Administration Building Project. Recorders and election services want to ensure you are ready to vote for the upcoming election and with soaring summer temperatures, cooling centers have opened to provide residents relief from the heat. These stories and more, you're watching The Mix. Yuma County celebrated a key milestone with a topping out ceremony for its new Downtown Administration Services Building. The final steel beam signed by the Board of Supervisors marked the completion of the structure's framework. The three-story facility will centralize eight different county departments and divisions, including election services, county administration, and a new Board of Supervisors auditorium, streamlining services for residents, Construction progresses towards an expected completion by June 2025. Election season is gearing up and the Yuma County Recorders and Election Services want to ensure you are ready to participate. The deadline to register to vote for the upcoming July 30th primary election is July 1st. You must be registered by then to participate. Need more information about registering to vote or other important election dates? Just log on to yumacountyaz.gov and click on the Yuma County Recorders page found under the Government tab. As temperatures in Yuma County begin to creep towards triple digits, residents are urged to take precautions when spending time outdoors. With the heat wave upon us, it's important to reschedule strenuous activities to early morning or evening, wear lightweight, loose-fitting clothing, and most importantly, stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water to provide relief from the scorching temperatures. Cooling centers have been set up in various locations throughout Yuma County. Residents can easily locate the nearest cooling centers by visiting yumacountyaz.gov and accessing the cooling center information under the health tab. Are you interested in building a home but don't know where to start? Oscar is at the Department of Development Services to find information needed. All right, Arlene, I am on site at the Department of Development Services to give you and community members a VIP access look into permitting, plans review, and inspections. Let's go take a look. Hey, Esteban, how are you? Hey, Oscar, I'm doing great by yourself. Good, good to see you. Good to see you as well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm here today at the Department of Development Services to give a behind-the-scenes look into permitting. Uh, as a new customer, tell me about what the process is for when I first enter. Awesome, of course. Well, first you'd walk up and be greeted by our receptionist and who would ask you a couple questions about um, what you're here to do today and so they can direct you to the right person. Um, so they'll most likely direct you to one of our permit techs. You know, if you're here to do over-the-counter projects like replace a water heater, maybe replace your electrical panel, um, that's something that they would be able to help you with right here, right now, over the counter. Um, you know, fees for that change. Um, they're available online if you want some more information. So I've been really into HGTV these days, so I'm here to build my own house. Tell me about what the process looks like to get a permit. Um, so to do your new house, um, yeah, you would step over with one of our permit techs. They would help you fill out the application, make sure you have the, um, the necessary supplemental uh, paperwork for it, your plans, of course. After we initialize your application, we give you an application number so you know what to reference. And then we'll make sure that all the divisions review it accordingly. You know, we have planning and zoning, environmental, building and safety, flood control engineering. A lot of people get involved. Awesome, thank you so much. So much good information. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go talk to plans and get some more information on inspections. Sounds great, I'll see you later. Thanks, bye. bye. Hey Ty, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good to see you. So um, I just met with Esteban to talk about the permitting process and um, I'm here to speak with you about plans review and inspections. Um, what can you tell me? Well, once you turn those plans into us and it goes into our re review process, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna make sure that whatever you've turned in meets the minimum requirements of code. And once we verify that whatever you turn in meets those requirements, we're then going to stamp those plans and then we're going to let you know those plans are ready to be picked up. Once you pick up those plans, we're then going to take those plans, we'll take them to the job site, and then from that point we'll do inspections and we'll look at various things as far as the plumbing, the electrical, uh, window sizing, and just different components of the building, but we'll take a look at it and we'll make sure that, number one, that it's safe and it follows uh, your staff to approve plans. And we're always available if you need anything as far as questions regarding your plans, if you run into something that you're just not sure about, we're always available. Uh, you can call your inspector, you can call 
uh, the, the office directly and we'll be able to answer your questions to the best of our ability. That's awesome. DDS has our back. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Ty, for all the information. You have a great day. You too. All right, Arlene, that was a behind the scenes look at the Department of Development Services. Back to you in the studio. That was great information. Thank you so much, Oscar. Now, it's that time again. Each quarter, we like to take a moment to recognize an employee who has gone above and beyond when it comes to safety. Robert Rosa's enhanced safety at the adult probation facility, initiating the installation of a railing system to prevent falls and proposing magnetic umbrellas for sun protection during summer. Robert's commitment to safety fosters a culture of continuous improvement and collective responsibility among his peers. Thanks for joining us on the episode of The Mix. If you'd like to watch past episodes, visit our webpage at yumacountyaz.gov under the VOD section. See you on the next one.